Hello, I'm TJ Schmidt, and I'm one of the staff contact attorneys here at HSLDA. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of Florida's homeschool law. In Florida, you have three options to homeschool your children. Under the home education option, homeschooling is defined as a sequentially progressive instruction of a student directed by his or her parent. Under this definition, the actual instruction does not need to be done by the parent. Once you establish your homeschool program, you must notify the county superintendent within 30 days. The notice must include the full legal name, address, and birth dates of the homeschool students. The grade level is not required, but you should talk with us if your child is interested in dual enrollment or in sports. This notice is only required once unless you move. You must maintain a portfolio of records and materials, including a log of educational activities and samples of any writings, worksheets, workbooks, or creative materials used or developed by the student. This portfolio must be maintained for two years and made available for inspection by the superintendent upon 15 days written notice. Now you must also annually file a copy of your child's evaluation with the local school superintendent. You have several options for the type of evaluation. All evaluations must demonstrate educational progress commensurate with the child's ability. Now option two for homeschooling in Florida is having your child attend a private school that is registered with the Florida Department of Education. Under this option, you would report to the private school of your choice and follow whatever requirements that they might have. These are often called cover or umbrella schools. There are several options out there for homeschooling parents to meet the exact needs for reporting and accountability. Finally, you can have your child educated at home under the private tutor law as long as the person providing the instruction has a Florida teaching certificate for the subjects or grades to be taught. They also must keep records and make all reports required by state law and require the student to be in actual attendance for at least 180 days or the equivalent. If you want more details about the homeschool requirements in Florida, we've created a series of articles covering everything you need to know. Just follow the link below to get started. Thanks for watching and happy homeschooling.